buffer social media management tutorial hi guys welcome back to the channel today i'm showing you a tutorial on buffer buffer is an amazing social media management software in which you can actually manage your different social media account from one platform so without any further ado let's get into the video so what you have to do is just go to buffer.com and you will land on this platform right here we're gonna go to get started now when we click on get started now you will see different options for your plan to choose from there are two plans available with there is a free plan for zero dollars and then there is an essential plan which is five dollars so i'm gonna go with the free plan and let's get started to set up an account you have to add your email address create your password and click i'm not a robot and then we're gonna sign up there you go guys you can see i have signed up for my buffer so you can see right here that this is the dashboard for a buffer a buffer actually allows you to connect to your any social media account that you want to and we will be able to manage our social media account we can actually create different posts we can actually check the analytics and check the pre-published post and find whatever we want to so to get started with buffer you can see right here that there are three options publishing analytics and engagement now i will be able to check the publishing for my social media channel the analytics behind my social media channel and the engagement for my social media account or pages or whatever you have so for that we're going to connect our first channel with our buffer now you can actually connect your any social media account it could be your facebook your instagram your twitter or any other social media account that you are using so you can see right here that these are the different options instagram facebook twitter linkedin pinterest and shopify so let's just go with facebook for now and i'm going to connect my facebook page with my buffer and we're going to just add the information for our facebook and i'm going to continue so you can see that they have added my social media page my facebook page to my buffer it was super easy it only takes one second to connect your page to your buffer so now they're asking me to add it to the buffer so i'm going to add to buffer so once i click on that now my buffer has my facebook page and now i will be able to manage my facebook page to my buffer you will see that the pages that i have connected this social media accounts that i have connected will be shown right here in the channels section so when i will click on channels i will be able to see that my one channel is connected channel just means your pages or any account so what's going to happen is you see that this is the channel that i have connected before we go and i show you how i will manage this channel from buffer um let's go to the organization again so let me show you that if i want to connect a new channel i would just simply click on connect new channel and now i can actually add my linkedin page as well and if i want to add my linkedin profile i can do that if i want to add my linkedin page i can do that as well so this is how you actually add different channels to your buffer for now i'm gonna cancel it and because i'll actually have to log into the linkedin so i'm just gonna skip this for now but we connected our facebook and you saw that how it's done so let's just go back so this is basically how you actually connect a channel to your buffer so i'm gonna go to my account and when we go to account you will see your email address right here if you want to change your email address you can change from account right here then there is password that if you want to change your password you can do that as well if you want to delete your buffer account you will get the option right here in the account then there is a billing option where you actually get all of your billing plans for example the plans we just selected i went with the free plan and i am getting three channels but if i want to get to uh, you know upgrade i can just simply click on upgrade and i will be able to get whatever plan i want to you will add the payment method right here if you want to add a payment method you will click on add method and you will be able to add it right here so after that invoices and recipients will be shown here so when i go to channels 
this is where I will see how many channels I have actually connected. So once you click on channel, this is how Buffer actually shows you the analytics for your channel. Right now I have clicked on publishing and this is the queue for my publishing with date and time. If I want to schedule a post, I can do that right here. For example, I want a post, I want to post on Tuesday. So what's going to happen is I can actually click on schedule a post post and I will simply click on the time and there are two times available and I can actually you know customize the time as well. So I have clicked on schedule a post and I can now create whatever post I want to and I would just say maybe buffer tutorial will be out soon so this is how um, i can just you know simply create a post for my page on facebook i don't have to go to my facebook i don't have to log into my facebook i can just simply create and schedule a post from right here if i want to add image or video i will just simply click on add image or video and then i will be able to add image or video as well so uh, this is how it actually works if i want to add the date for my post for my scheduled post i will click on edit and I can actually you know change the time or date let's just change the time to I'm gonna select it to 3 34 p.m and if I want to switch the time zone I can do that as well if I want to edit the date for example mistakenly I added the wrong date I can just edit it right here so once you're done with that I will click on done and I will click on schedule post and this post will be added to my Facebook page tomorrow without me without concerning me or I will not have to you know check again and again and it will save me a lot of time and a lot of effort as well so once I'm done with that, I will just simply, you know, click on create. Let's go to analytics and let me show you how the analytics are shown on a buffer. Now, buffer actually shows you how your page is doing, what kind of engagement you are getting. If you have added any ads or campaigns, you will be able to check the analytics for them as well. So when you go to analytics, this is where you actually see the analytics for your page because it has a lot of tools that you can actually avail. For that, you'll have to actually buy the essential plan which was five dollars pretty cheap to buy and it actually gives you a lot of options so i think it's very reasonable for you to buy the plan if i go to the engagement i can actually we can you know check the engagement for our page if you have added your campaigns or your ads uh, you will check the engagement what kind of engagement you are getting to your page you will be able to check right here and you will be able to you know manage your audience with buffer from engagement as well then you will see the option of apps right here that buffer is actually available for ios android and you can actually get integrations as well that's pretty good options that that is a pretty good option that buffer has provided you can actually add different extensions for example your canva and ifttt your zapier or automate or wordpress or integro mat so you can actually you know or feedly or pocket or microsoft so that's pretty good when we are managing our social media account for example you have more than one page you have a lot of accounts so what's going to happen is that you can actually integrate your canva to your buffer and it will really allow you to get you know to attract the audience and to manage your account very professionally so that's actually a pretty good option available on buffer so when we go back to publishing uh, you can actually check out your published post as well the post that you have already published on your facebook or any other social media account you will be able to you know check them right here if you have any draft post you will be able to you know check them from here if you have any posts that are awaiting for your approval you will also you know be able to access them from your buffer if you want to manage channels you will click on manage channels for example if you have more than one channels you have maybe five or six channel you can come back to channels and manage them 
anytime you want to. So yeah, Buffer actually allows you to, you know, create this amazing workspace for yourself, for your social media management. And it is becoming very easy with Buffer to manage our social media account and become an amazing professional influencer and create the social media accounts that we want to. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you and now you will be able to manage your social media accounts with Buffer very easily. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.